We are back, and boy am I excited. Number one, because between the last video and this one, Christopher released a new Oblivion update. But number two, because I'm going to be showing off Dr. Venture. I said last time during the Brock Samson video that his deck wasn't done, and it's not. This is still in playtest phase. But Adelphophage released full cards with art and everything nice like that, and I just, I really want to show him off because he's a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to seeing what changes have been made since the last time I played him. Along with him we've got Setback, Parse, and Knife, Fighting Gloomweaver in the Time Cataclysm, and I'll mention I picked Gloomweaver because Dr. Venture has an interesting interaction with him. I want to see if I can actually get it to work. But Gloomweaver will start us off with another zombie. I did shuffle this, right? Yeah, I shuffled it. Okay. Five instances of two damage. And Knife and Setback took all of it. So, Dr. Venture's thing... Oh, I almost forgot. I need science tokens. I think I had decided that science tokens were green before, but today they will be gold. So, his main thing is invention cards, and they interplay with science tokens. You need to have a certain number of science tokens on them to do their effect, but the effects are usually really cool and really worth the build-up for the larger ones. I'm going to start off with Erratic Genius. Draw a card. If it's a one-shot, repeat the entire text of this card. So let's see, we get a one-shot, and a one-shot, and a one-shot. Wait, that's not a one-shot. It is. And a one-shot. Is it one-shot? Really? I think that's supposed to say if that card is an invention, repeat the text. But it doesn't say that, so I'm just going to keep going. One-shot. Venturestein. Okay, so that finally ended. I don't think that's how that card is supposed to work. <laughs> And that's not on me, this is all Adelphophage's stuff. For his power, I will use Invent to play a card, and I'm going to play, if I can find him, Gardo. Gardo is a marauding security bot with the face of Dr. Venture. This card enters play with Science Token. Bloop. Reduce damage dealt to this card by one. At the end of your turn, Gardo deals the highest HP hero target for energy damage. You may remove a Science Token from this target to redirect that damage to another target. I think we'll do that. So he'll draw a card, not like he needs to, and we'll pull a Science Token off of Gardo to hit Gloomweaver for four. Next round, we will have to do something, assuming Gardo is still around, or he is going to hurt some people. Uh, setback will start off with his Fumbling Fool. Invention, could he use that? Fine, fine, good. Well, although at this point it doesn't matter, whatever. And he'll get H tokens. And Risk? Huh, oh, Pyrus Behavior. That'll be fun. We need to do some damage. Recompile. You know what? Knife can kill the zombies. F for Hickloweaver. Incidental contact. I'm gonna take one. All the villain targets take two. She can't hit Gardo, but she kills all the zombies. And then she hits Gloomweaver for two energy damage. Nice. Off to a good start. Time Cataclysm plays the Atlantean Throne Room. That'll be probably useless. Oh, look! It's the Pouch of Bones. That's all for that. So here's the interaction I was talking about. Venture Stein is a one hit point target. It is a zombie. It does stuff when it's destroyed, but that means that if I play it, Pouch of Bones will heal each villain target for four hit points. The thing you want to do is wait for Gloomweaver's ongoing card, put out all your Venture Steins, and blow them all up, because they will do scads of damage. It's hilarious. But anyway, I have counted for this, and if I can find the card I want to play... Here we go, Violent Malfunction, Destroy an Invention. Bye, Gardo. If you do destroy an ongoing or environment card, might as well get rid of that, and deal each non-hero target two fire damage. That damage needs to be sourced, gosh darn it. And then, let's see, I'm going to invent... I will play Military Funding. You may put a science token on one of your inventions. If you did not, reveal cards from your deck until you reveal an invention card. Put it into play, shuffle the rest back into your deck. Hmm, there's something wrong with these cards. They don't look quite right. Got no nothing to put a token on, so let's see. Helper. Helper is not a one-shot. He's an invention. Uh, Helper, by the way, is the robot, not the Dr. Venture Caterpillar. This card enters play with a science token. And if you turn, you may remove a science token from this card. If you do, this card deals a target three melee damage, and you draw a card. I think I'll do that. Draw a card first. End of turn. Do a science. Helper smacks around the pouch of bones, and I draw another card. I have a lot of Venture Steins in hand. Alright, Setback's gonna add a token. And then we'll do Exceeded Expectations. Remove two tokens. So he'll be dealing three, four damage to two targets. And Risk. Fumbling Fool. Good. Fine. Good. Fine. Yeah, I could use that. Good. That's worth not getting Critical Multiplier. He gets tokens. I think this is a good time for Targeting Arrow. And then Pinpoint Shot it for three. Wrecking Uppercut. For four. That discards a Voodoo Pin. I'll hit it for three more. Draw a card. Awesome. Time Cat, Filter Spy. It's the second highest for three. Ah, uh, Knife will take that. Weaver, 
Zealots. Ooh, I think it's time for Venturestein. Wait, no, no, I don't want to play Venturestein. It's because of the pouch of bones. Gosh darn. Well, whatever. Let's go ahead and Injectral Technologies. A science token on my invention. Draw two cards and discard two cards. Oh, I got an invention. Excellent. Don't need diet pills right now. Power. I will invent an ion shield. So just play with a science token. At the end of your turn, you may remove three science tokens from this card. So this one, you have to build up to. But when you do, it reduces all damage dealt to hero targets by three until your next turn. Oh, it used to turn into a target. Well, whatever. Draw a card. Um, I'll remove that token from helper. He'll hit the bag for a total of three. And I draw another card. All right. Setback gets a token, but that's not going to help him at all. Dr. Venture has the only cards out right now, so I don't actually want to. Well, you know what? I could actually use Surprising Fortune. I never use it. Two tokens, setback gains two hit points, and uh, Parse will draw two cards. You know, I like comparing Sentinel's heroes to like D&D classes, like Haka is very much the Barbarian, and like Arjun Adept is the Bard. Setback is a cleric. He is a cleric of the God of Luck. That's what his class is. This goes away. I think I will between the lines and have Knife kill the Pouch of Bones with that irreducible damage. And the dude tries to heal, but he's at full, so screw him. And I'll pinpoint shot the Zealot. Now I'm going to play Flawless Execution. Probably not going to need to use it. Hit the Zealot for one more. Draw a card. Ooh, fixed point. I don't have anything cool to do with that, sadly. Uh, the Spy hits setback for three. Bloomweaver. Voodoo Pin. Here with the fewest cards in play. So, parse, unfortunately. All right. Dr. Venture. So I need... My goal now is to get some tokens on that invention. How can I do that? Go ahead and play Accidental Mutations. One player reveals cards from their deck until they reveal two ongoing cards. Play one, shuffle the rest back into the deck. I'm going to play this parse. No, I'm going to put it on setback. Let's see what he mutates into. We got a looking up and another high-risk behavior. Well, <laughs> I think that's a problem that solves itself. Looking up goes into play. The rest gets shuffled back into his deck. That was helpful. Power. Let's see. We don't actually need the Ion Shield to work right now. I think I'll go ahead and play Conjectural Technologies. Throw a Science Token on Helper. Draw two cards, discard two cards. Could play those Venture Steins. And then I draw a card. Helper will flail and hit the Zealot for two. I draw another card. Boy, Helper is really cool. Just token damage draw. That's a great card. He's new for this version of the deck, I should mention. All right, setback gets a token. Oh yeah, I can't destroy the Zealot because of fixed points. You know what? Let's do something about that. Whoops, sorry. Can't destroy any hero cards. Destroy fixed point. Get three tokens. And then he's looking up to get three tokens. And he's going to deal three, eight damage. Wow. Total of seven on Gloomweaver. Of course, he's also, he's also going to start hurting himself come next round. Syntactic analysis. Who do I want to play this on? Knife. Who gets Infiltrate and Obfuscate. I actually wanted that. An Amplified Combatant. Amplified Combatant would be wasted, so she'll draw that. She'll play Infiltrate and Obfuscate. Wasn't that great, but could be worse. And she'll kill the Zealot. Oh, I forgot to mark that we have a Relic in the trash. And a zombie comes out. She draws a card. And we discard randomly. Oh, I could have used that. If you're playing along at home, what I did was select the hand, hit G to group it, and then flip and shuffle and just discard the top one. And then you can draw your hand back into your hand. Amplified Combatant. Let's see, now I can use it. I'll hit the zombie, which actually after the first hit, false execution kills it. And hit Gloomweaver and hit the spy. And they'll hit Gloomweaver. Tumbleweed. Good, the tumbleweed can get rid of the spy. Spy hits parse for three. Oh, I forgot to hit the voodoo pen. Damn it. Well, whatever. Goes in disciple. And she gets a zombie and hits the highest for three. That's Dr. Venture, thank goodness. Thank goodness is not a setback. Uh, because the zombie's gonna hit him for seven. Ouch. Alright, um, military funding. We'll put a token on that. Power. I will play military funding and put a token on the ion shield draw a card, and I'm going to pull these three tokens off the Ion Shield, reduce damage dealt to hero targets by three until you're in my next turn. Which is good, because at the start of Setback's turn, he's going to have a token, and then he has ten or more tokens, so he deals himself no psychic damage. Woohoo! Supporting the team with science. Man, oh, I really wish I had a silver lining right now, because I would just use cause and effect to kill everything. Oh, man. Setback needs card draw. I think I'm going to just use his turn to play and use Uncharmed Life for three hit points. 
Because he's going to need those. <laughs> yes, indeed, O's. All right, impossible shot. Cultist, hit the cultist again. Draw two cards because of the impossible shot. And then we do the thing. See, look at this. The freaking overlay is messing with my ability to select this entire hand. This is not a good prize. Data mining, that's fine. Focus in Conduit Blade. And then she will kill the cultist for another zombie. All right. Destroyed environment card. We'll get rid of the spy. Mars Quake. Each target two melee damage. Ooh, she will infiscate an infiltrate. Infu what? No. Uh, villain target with the second highest HP. Okay, so her damage will go to the zombie. Oh, wait, no, it won't. Haha. <laughs> We're not taking any damage this round. So the heroes take no damage, but everything else does. Okay, that was a good card play. Hey, it's the cursed acolyte. Holy shit, he deals no damage to the heroes. Thanks to Dr. Venture. That's great. Oh man, the Ure. Oh, I want to play that. Well, you know, as nice as the Ion Shield is, I'm a blow it up. <laughs> Violent Malfunction. Bloop. Destroying ongoing or environment cards. We can get rid of that Mars Quake. Deal each non hero target two fire damage. Power. Hmm, I would like to play the Ure, but I'm going to do military funding and put a token on helper card. Science helper. He'll hit the voodoo pin. And I draw another card. Oh man! Setback could totally just kill himself right now and nuke Gloomweaver into orbit. He will add a token. He'll hit himself for three damage. And then we're going to turn of events. Each other player may use a power now. All right. Okay, knife will hit this guy for three, which kills him with flawless execution. Brings out a zombie. Parse will hit... I shall hit and kill the zombie. Dr. Venture, gonna play the Ooray. That enters play with a science token. And then setback deals himself two psychic damage. Right. Surprising fortune. Not quite enough to keep him from hurting himself, but two hit points and he's gonna draw the two cards. There we go. Stuff to do. Alrighty. Exploit vulnerability, because I love that card. And she'll hit the voodoo pin. Actually, no. She'll hit Gloomweaver, because Knife can take care of the pin. Okay, if we're expecting Knife to take care of the voodoo pin, she's not gonna play Battlefield Experience. I will play Kinetic Neutralizer for next round, and go ahead and hit the pin for three, destroying it. And now Parse can stop losing cards. Time Cataclysm. Oh boy. I think I said in a previous video I don't mind having computer room against Gloomweaver. Oh, except when he does that. Oh, jeez. Play the top card of his deck. That's when it bites you in the butt. Just noticed I have my fan on. Oh, nobody minds that. Okay, Gloomweaver's turn. This is this is gonna hurt. Oh, it's gonna hurt a lot. This is especially gonna hurt setback. All right, everybody take two and two. Let's hang on. Let's exploit some vulnerabilities here. Everybody gets one of these. Uh, setback takes five and five. Ophidia hits the highest for four. He's zombie now. She hits the highest for three. Zombie hits the highest for two. Well, helper didn't die. Awesome. I'm gonna blow him off. <laughs> Cannibalize. Destroy any number of inventions. Bloop. Sorry, helper. Discard any number of inventions. I have the Cosmic Gate over here, which is a really good card, but I'm going to discard it. The science token on each of X inventions. Oh, wait, I misread this card. Ah, oh, I thought it was just put in a number of science tokens. Fuck, in that case, I'm going to leave helper out with his one hit point. I'll just discard the Cosmic Gate. Put a science token on the Ure. Okay, that didn't work out quite the way I thought it would. I can't get any more science tokens. Oh, this sucks. Accidental mutations. On setback, because that worked real well last time. High-risk behavior. Uncharmed life. We're going to go with another high-risk behavior, although he doesn't really have anything to do with it. And the Uray's only got $2,000 on it right now. Karmic retribution. Remove seven tokens. Deal him seven, eight, seven damage. Well, you know what? If I'm only doing seven damage, I might as well kill a cultist. We zombie now. All right, start of his turn, increase that by two. He also hits himself for three. Well, he's not going to hit himself anymore. So, looking up, deal a target six damage, kill, and kill a cultist for fun and profit. Okay, but I really, really wish that I had anything that hit multiple targets at this point, because those exploits are going to go away fairly soon. Buffer overflow, and kill a zombie. And the exploit vulnerability is working against the zealot but it's not going to be around for much longer. Okay, battlefield experience. Deal a target two and three. That's enough to kill the zealot. Destroy that. Draw a card. Play a card. Well, I just got rid of the damage reduction. Energy burn. So let's see. That becomes three and two. Becomes four and three. Becomes five and four if I hit Gloomweaver, which I will. Fun times. Draw a card. Oh, everybody can draw a card. And all the exploits go away. I'm just going to make a pile of them. Just got to hope we don't get another cursed acolyte or setback is going to die. Die, die, going to die. Triceratops comes out, and we'll play the top card of the villain deck, and it's the drum. Oh, shit. Well, on the upside, it gets exploited as well. Oh, wait. Wait. Hang on. 
When that comes into play, buffer overflow. Destroy that, draw a card, and play the top card of the villain deck. Much better. Those cards in play is... We'll put that on knife so that setback doesn't have to suffer. All right, so, Gloomweaver. Oh, look, it's the book anyway. See, now we don't have to deal with both of them. Going for a relic victory here. Okay, Ophidia hits the highest for five. Three rounds of two damage. Three. Okay, I think we might have this in the bag. If I can get some friggin' science tokens. Damn it. Okay, time for diet pills. Discard your hand, draw four cards. I'm losing cards in the bargain, but I don't have anything I need. Ah, look, I see conjectural technologies. Ooh, that's even better. Okay, there's the reanimation lab, which lets you pull all of the Venture Steins into play. Probably not going to get to do that just because... The card never came out that I was looking for. But I will play unethical methods for my power. The heroes collectively discard two cards. Let's see, she doesn't need that, and she doesn't need that. Put a science token on each of two inventions. I will do that. One for helper, one for the Uray. Now it's up to $3,000. Draw a card. Pull a science token off of helper. He'll deal three, four damage to the book. Draw a card. And then I pull three science tokens off of the Uray. Dr. Venture deals a target 11 sonic damage. Make that 12. 12 damage. You're welcome. Setback will not add a token so that he doesn't deal himself any damage and then he can add a token. You know what? It's time to make the big sacrifice. Cause and effect. Destroy it in an ongoing or environment card. We don't need that anymore. That has been more trouble than it's worth. Setback deals one target and himself as much psychic damage as there are tokens in your unlucky pool. So that's 10, 13. He nukes the book and then he dies. But at the start of the villain turn, we'll win. So it was a worthwhile sacrifice. And hey, he would not have been able to nuke it if not for that 12 sonic damage. Bye, setback. You lovable scamp. Okay, so nobody else has anything to do. Impossible shot. And uh, kill a zombie. Battlefield experience, just for the hell of it. Uh, let's see, do five damage total. That kills a Fidia. Destroy that. Draw a card. Play a card, I'll play the Overcharged Null Shield, because then when the Sable Pin goes off, Gloomweaver will only deal her three psychic damage. Take that, you shit. Second lowest target, three melee damage. That's one of the zombies. Gets trampled by a Triceratops. Rift in time, and that thing goes away. Plays Typhoon. Hmm, it could be worse, since we're about to win. I don't really care. And we win. Okay. That was awesome. Didn't get to see all of his inventions, but trust me when I say they're all cool. The Cosmic Gate, notably, takes three science tokens to work, but then you destroy two non-character cards and the Cosmic Gate, and that is just really, really awesome. There's God Gas, which is a lot of fun. Play it by a target, now a science token on it. Yeah, this is basically just a, uh, a steady stream of damage for probably the villain. That being said, it kind of competes with Helper. Interesting conundrum. But that's it. That's... Dr. Venture. I think he's a lot of fun. I look forward to seeing the full uh, proof read and finished deck, which I feel is not too far off. As always, once again, the Reavers Sentinels and Cauldron expansion for Tabletop Simulator is not a license greater than game product. Please support the official release. Flip. And I started the video I'm watching again. I don't know how I did that. Please stop. Please stop Netflix. Take this. Drink. Oh, God.